<clears throat> okay, so that's the month, the month of Av. The Rebbe once said in a letter, and someone wrote to him about the Holocaust. And the Holocaust, the Holocaust, the Holocaust. So the Rebbe wrote, there's no doubt that the Holocaust was a terrible tragedy. He said, but the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, the Jews are used to tragedies. He wanted to say, because there's the Holocaust, so God doesn't exist. And he said, first of all, listen, God, God knows what he's doing. We don't always. But the, the fact is, the Jews have been living with such tragedies for, uh, since the beginning. He says, in many ways, the Rebbe said, the destruction of the first temple, and especially the second temple, was worse than the Holocaust. <clears throat> because the first temple, all the Jews were all together in Israel. And they were all driven out of Israel. They were all driven out. Besides the millions of people that were killed. Besides that. And in the second temple, it could be that there were more Jews killed than by the Holocaust. It says there were rivers of blood. And... But the most terrible thing was that every Jew felt the destruction of the temple. They were driven from their homeland. That their, 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 their central holy temple was destroyed. Right? S spread out all the world. Uh, that's much worse than, the, I mean, the whole, not trying to minimize the Holocaust. But the Holocaust, there was only Jews that were in Europe that were killed. There were other Jews that could get out. And the Jews, as it was, they weren't really in their home. They didn't have, they weren't in Israel. So it wasn't as much of a trauma that they had to run away from Germany or run away from Poland and go to America or go to this. They already weren't really in their home. And now look at, and if, if they had homes, it was nowhere like the, how settled they were in Israel. Israel is the heart of every Jew. <clears throat> the terrible thing about the Holocaust was that it, first of all, took so long and it was in public and the Germans invented all sorts of terrible tortures and means of killing people that were just, you know, so, how do you say, systematized. And for such a long, long period of time of weird, bizarre deaths and tortures that they tortured people, it's just unheard of. Just unheard of. That's the tragedy of the, of the Holocaust. It, it destroyed the morale of the Jewish people. All of a sudden, it was, it was just such a, a blow, such a strike. At the, all these people were killed only because they were Jewish. It's like, what, what do you get out of this Jewish business? Why, be, why should you do it? Why be a Jew? And there were a lot of people that were leaving Judaism. I mean, was the, the, how many of them were really religious in the first place? But, but at least now they had a, a really good excuse, if you want to call it, to not be enthusiastic about Judaism. And then came along the Lubavitcher Rebbe and returned the pride of Judaism and said, if you don't put on tefillin because of Hitler, you're giving a prize to Hitler. You're making Hitler happy. If you don't keep Shabbos because of the Nazis, then the Nazis won. That's what they wanted. Right? You got out of the, uh, the concentration camp, but you have to get the concentration camp out of you. The best... Revenge against these people is to do what they wanted to destroy, Torah and mitzvahs, strengthen the Jewish people. So that's what the Rebbe is saying. I'm not comforting you. I'm telling you that a way to stop it from the beginning. That's called mercy. Mercy, that Hashem should just have mercy. It should never happen again. It never, the Rebbe said a lot of times, it's never going to happen again. Allah We have to understand, since in the future there will be this revelation of Rachmim of God's mercy. We're in Ches now. We're in Ches. See? Last one. Since there will be this level of God's mercy, and it will negate all lacking, all bad things totally, as if so, the Shema Yetzur Echaz, Benyin and Nechama. Why does God say, I will be with for you both? Mercy and comfort. If there's going to be mercy, we said mercy does away with all of the problems. Why, what, what, what's there to get comforted about? Comfort is connected to tsar. Amatia, nachama, there won't be any difficulty. There won't be any tsar. There won't be any lacking. Why does God say in the future I'm going to be also 
like a father and a mother, mercy and comfort. What's there to be comforted for? Habir Bazer, the explanation is, okay, Herschel, the whole entire purpose of the creation is to make a dwelling place for Hashem in the physical world. The physical world will remain as it is. And as they are, the world will become a dwelling for God. It's not the world will suddenly become never-never land or something. The world will be exactly the same world. But God will be here. Everyone will see that God is creating it. Eino tofes rachamim. Mercy means that the world, even though it's there, eino tofes makom legaba. The world won't take it like with Zusha Manipoli. Alulim heim efo lifol babriya bitol veshvira tamitziut. A person can destroy all the bad things. The Ilua Kavana, but God's intention is no, that there should be a world, there should be the potential for bad, but it should be only used for good. Therefore, there will be a necessity for Nechama. You'll have to have this idea of comforting, because even in the world, Kafishu B'Mitziot, Tien Nechama. Even in the world, the world as it is, even though there will be a physical world, the world won't go away like it was by Rav Zusha. There was no world. There's no bad. Says the Rebbe, there will be an existence of bad, but people will be comforted for it. People won't want to do it. That's the way I understand it. Gambo olam kafishu b'mitziuto. Look at the number 40. The Avshe In other words, what? Why will there have to be a comfort? Because there is a world. Because there is a world. There's the potential of doing bad. Even though no one will do bad, but still we have to have comfort from God. Because there will be the potential to do bad. We'll feel ourselves somehow or other a little bit separate from God. That's what God said. I will do both. I'll be like a father and a mother. Av is chachma. Above the creation. And aim means the light will not break the world. Rather, it will reveal in the world, in the inside of the world. So there will be a world. There will be, are you with me, Yona? Hello. There will be a world. But the world will be a place where God will have nechama. He'll have, what do you call it, comfort. What do you mean comfort? Just like you comfort a person, God forbid somebody dies. So you make it feel better. The same thing, there'll be a physical world, but God will make you feel better about it. There will be the potential for bad, but God will make you feel better about it. You won't be tempted by it. But you'll realize why it's there. The world won't go away. That's like... We're talking about that in the time of Mashiach. Time of Mashiach. So let, let's put it into more simple terms, what we're talking about. What, what are we... What are we waiting for? What are we praying for? What are we in the yeshiva for? What are we alive for? That the world should be a perfect world. What's it mean the world will be a perfect world? What's, what does perfect mean? That there won't be a world at all. Just be one big white light. Everybody's going to go back up to heaven. This is no. The world will be a world and it'll be perfect. What does it mean perfect? That there will be the potential to do bad. There will be the potential for pain. There'll be the potential for frustration. There won't be a potential for death. Death won't be. But there'll be all these potentials. But nobody will use that potential. But because there will be a potential for those things, so it's sort of like the world is not perfect. But that is what a perfect world is. A perfect world is a place where there's the potential 
for bad, so you can have free will. You be a human being is free will. But you'll always choose what's good. But because there is the potential for bad, still <clears throat> they'll have to be comforting. Almost like what Zusha and Amiani Poli, that he didn't have anything. It was totally a pauper. But he was happy. But nevertheless, he still was a pauper. It still had to be comforted for that. Right? He still had to come in, in terms with these things. The previous Rebbe, when he was in prison, he still had to come in terms with the fact that he was in prison and they were torturing him. Even though on the inside, truly, it didn't affect him at all. But on the outside, nevertheless, there was the existence of a terrible world. Okay, in the future, there'll be an existence of a potentially terrible world. So therefore, there's going to have to be both mercy, like Rizusha, he didn't see the bad at all, and also comfort. In other words, there is a bad situation, but you have to ignore it. So comfort would be... Okay. Yeah. Well, it, seems, it seems like the, the possibility for doing bad is, is, is built into the world. Yes. But we're not supposed to, of so course. Instead of being just thrown into it like we are right now, and we, we do our best to find our way out of it. In this time, yeah. we where God comforts us, He's going to aid us. But we won't, yeah, that's right. We won't have to, there won't be such a trial. And that's the comfort. V'zeo, that's what it means, the month of Menachem of. First of all, Menachem, that's like this level of Bina, comforting us for the bad. And afterwards, of, there won't be any bad. Seir avodas Adam, the order of the service of man will be from below to above. The beginning of service is Menachem, Bina. Coming in contact with the bad, coming in contact with difficulties, with failure, fear, and comforting ourselves for it. Explaining to ourselves, don't do it. That's the Chodesh from itself. Avod is B'nai Yisrael. I'm sorry, that is Menachem. That Hashem has to comfort us for the bad. But the month itself, before the Jewish people serve, is called Av, a bad thing. Mishinichnas Av, when Av comes in, you become less and less happy. Legriusa, bad. And a Jew, when he serves God, then he can transform this bad to Menachem, first of all, comforting the bad of the month, coming to grips with it, explaining it. Kashem Shish, the Yehudi Koach, Laham Shich Kedusha, by means of Nadarim, like making a vow. When something happens, that's like Menachem. You make a vow to deal with the bad, to come in terms with the bad. So you make a vow. It's the same thing as comfort. Menachem, the first stage. How do you deal with bad things? You make a vow to hold yourself back. Or in our case, Menachem. That corresponds to Menachem. You comfort the person because of the bad things. And afterwards, there's a higher level. After the level of Menachem is of Chachma. A Chacham has the power to uproot the, the, the vow. This is not the revelation of God's wisdom that breaks the world, but rather Menachem Av, that the Av also has an effect on the Menachem in a calm way, in a beautiful way. Yehudi, Chacham, Yichud, Chachma Vibin, I'm sorry, uniting Chachma, which is this power of faith, of Rachmi, mercy, pure godliness, unites with Bina, that there is a physical world and we know how to deal with it. Tremendous power 
to make the world a better place. Shebetoch olam, that in the world, Bepinimius will be drawn down light which is above the world. So what's the Rebbe talking about? The Rebbe is talking about what's going to be in the future revelation, future redemption. Future redemption is going to be the redem- the revelation of all potential good. But sometimes good means to deal with and to comfort the bad. And sometimes good means that there is no bad. It's just totally pure good. So there's two types of good. One type of a good that's pure godliness, that's like a dira. And then there's dira batachtonim, and there's a dwelling of God physical world. But when God is revealed in the world, what happens? All good is revealed. All potential good in each and every human being will be revealed. And the world will be a beautiful, perfect place.